I called one record label. Okay. I called Next Plateau Records. And I had this device to plan in my head to uh, to call these guys to see if I could get Seji's number to become a, to produce right. one of these acts I had in Detroit with this make-believe <laughs> record label that right. I had. So I called them and I, you know, let them know I had a lot of money and we wanted Seji, the producer. And they was like, well, you know, Seji is not at Next Plateau anymore. Wow. They say he's over at Mercury. So Mercury was also a branch of Polygram, right. as was Next Plateau. So he moved over there, but said G had kept his good rapport with the people of Next Plateau Records. Right. So with that being said, said G, uh, they give us said G's home phone number. Wow. And uh, when I call said G's home phone number, I don't really know what to say. Because I had already told everybody that I was this big record producer. So when his mom puts him on the phone, uh, you know, I, I'm stuttering. So I'm like, you know, long story short, man, me and my partner are your biggest fans in the world. And we wanted to know if we could come down to New York and present you some music. Wow. And he was like, like nah, man, just... <laughs> can't come down to New York and present it to me, send it, and then if I like it, right. I'll have y'all come down. And I, and I remember I was specifically on the phone. I was like, look, man, I'm sure you tell everybody that shit. Right. Just please give me an opportunity to come down right. and display the music. So with that being said, you know, boom, uh, we sent it, he liked it, and went down there. We recorded a couple demos. Uh, and he took us back to Next Plateau, the okay. record label that he had just, just left. left. 